how to create web rules and assign entity permissions to contact. First, let us see how to create web rules. Web rules are used to define a specific role for a contact account user. Whenever we want to allow a contact to perform any specific action or operations, then we will create a web role for that contact. Now, let's see how to create a web role for a contact. Navigate to portal web roles. Here, select the new tab. It will redirect to the new web role page. Now, you have to provide the required data like name, name of a web role, website, website associated to web role, description, description of a web role, authenticated user roles. If yes, then this role will be default role for all authenticated users. Anonymous users role. If yes, then this role will be the default role for all unauthenticated users. Now, click on Save. Assigning web role to a contact. Navigate to portal web roles. Here, select the web role and open. And click on the navigation beside a respective web role. Select the contact entity from the list. Now, click on Add Existing Contact button on the top left where a lookup will be enabled upon clicking that. Select a contact from the lookup window. Now, let's see how to assign entity permissions to a specific web role. Entity permissions are used to define the access levels for an entity. We will add this entity permissions to a web roles. Now, navigate to portal Entity Permission. To create a new entity permission, click on New tab. It will redirect to the new entity permissions page. Provide the necessary information like name, this name represents the name of the entity permission. Here, I am considering the account entity. Entity name. Name of the entity on which we want to create entity permissions. Website. Select website on which we want to add this entity permission. Scope. Scope will decide the access level of entity. Entity permissions will support five types of scopes. They are global. If we take entity permission scope as global, then the entity can be accessed by all the contacts in that web role. Contact. If the scope is contact, then we can access current user's contact related records only. Relationship we will create within the CRM. Account. If the scope is account, then we can access the current user's parent account records through a relationship that was defined in CRM. Parent. Grant privileges to the entity record through the chain of its parent permission as relationships. Self. If scope is self, then we can access only the current logged in user's contact. So now I'm selecting global as a scope and assigning the privilege as read and create. In this scenario, I'm restricting the right privilege for this account entity. Now scroll down to web role tab and select the web role you would like to append. To view the privileges in Entity Permissions, first we need to check the Enable Entity Permission field in respective area. 
Now in the portal, I am clicking on the account list and once the record is opened, I will not be able to edit the details as write permission is restricted. Here, since I have given the create privilege, I will be able to create a new account record.